Good morning, this is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, or hit the like button if you like. We're going to continue with our make instead of baking, instead of buying series. And this is going to come up, I have no idea how they're going to come up. They're going to come up the way I, they do. So, French dressing, one half cup of dry buttermilk powder. You know, you can buy that in a regular grocery store. Two tablespoons of dried parsley flakes. One tablespoon of dried minced onion. One tablespoon of dried minced chives. Those, I would say, would be optional. Two teaspoons of dried dill weed. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, one half teaspoon of ground brown pep black pepper. Place all ingredients in the blender, pulse until smooth. Place in an airtight container for two to three months. I don't know how long it lasts because I don't. I use it up before then. To use for a salad dressing, two tablespoons of ranch seasoning to one half cup of mayo. Add enough milk to make a desired consistency. Boy, I spit that one wrong, did I? For dips, mix with sour cream, yogurt, and or mayonnaise. When the recipe calls for one packet of mix, use two tablespoons of a dry mix. Next one. Homemade everything bagel seasoning. Two tablespoons of poppy seed. One tablespoon of white sesame seed. One tablespoon of black sesame, a white, a black sesame seed seeds. That one tablespoon of each. One and a half teaspoons of dried mint onion. One tablespoon, one tablespoon it is. One tablespoon of dried minced garlic. One half tablespoon of coarse salt. Contain all in, combine all ingredients. Mix thoroughly. Store in an airtight jar for up to three months in the pantry. Homemade allspice. One half teaspoon of cinnamon, one half tea, one fourth teaspoon of cloves, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Combine all your ingredients, store in an airtight container. Shake and bake. Four cups, I've got two of them on here, okay? That I know of them. Four cups of um, breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of basil, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of parsley, and one third cup oil of your choice. That's from Mama Bard Bakes Pantry. The second one is living on a dime to grow rich, four cups of flour, four cups of soda crackers crushed, four tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, three tablespoons of paprika, one and one-fourth cups of vegetable oil. Okay. Homemade buttermilk. One cup of yogurt, plain yogurt, and milk. Put one cup of yogurt in a quart jar. Fill with the milk of your choice. Shake for one minute and let that on the countertops for two, 24 hours. Everlasting bubble milk. One fourth cup. Live culture bought from the store. Fresh milk. Let that on the counter for 12 to 15 or for 12 to 24 hours. Put in the fridge. Save one half cup from New, from a new batch, then you continue the process. One tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar to one cup of milk. Homemade dressing. One container of plain low-fat yogurt, six cloves of garlic, one bundle of cilantro. Blend together in a blender and refrigerate. Like I said, they're coming up and we've got everything coming up, don't we? Butter spread. 
I got three, four, five, five, five different better spreads. Make your butter stretch for longer, and since butter is getting so expensive, and it's going to be in short supply, they tell us. Anyway, you might consider this. One pound of butter softened, not melted. One cup of water. One cup of oil. Olive oil or vegetable oil. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Combine all ingredients in the bowl. Whip using a hand mixer. It will be soft, but will harden in the refrigerator. It says do not use on toast as it makes the toast soggy. Second one, two, two sticks of butter at room temperature. One half cup of oil, your choice. Place butter in a bowl of a stand, stand mixer. Whip with the whip attachment until smooth, about one minute. Add oil. Whip until the oil is, inco is incorporated into the butter. Whipped cream cheese, add herbs desired or maple, or maple soup and jelly. I don't know what that one's doing there for whipped cream cheese or butter, but anyway, um, <laughs> you got it there. For another butter one, one can of evaporated milk and one pound of margarine it says, but you can use your butter. Combine your ingredients and mix well. That has to be stored in the refrigerator, okay? One cup of butter, one cup of oil, your choice, two tablespoons of powdered milk, one half teaspoon of salt, which is optional, and together place in the container and refrigerate. Homemade com compound butters. Garlic herb butter, one half cup of softened butter, which is one stick. Four garlic cloves minced, two teaspoons of dried thyme, one half teaspoon of dried rosemary. Combine all ingredients, mix well. Place butter on wax paper, parchment paper, or plastic wrap. Roll into a log. Twist ends to close tightly. Chill the firm up. Slice into eight pieces when serving. Or I would just, um, just put it into a container because uh, it's going to be used for us. It's going to be used up really quick on bread and on our breadsticks. Shallot. Chai butter. I didn't pronounce that right. I butchered it in fact. One half cup of butter softened. One stick. One shallot. Shallot minced. Two garlic cloves minced. Four teaspoons of dried chive. Follow the directions as above. Basil lemon butter, one half cup butter, four teaspoons of dried basil, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Red pepper butter, one half cup of butter, one fourth cup of roasted red peppers, sprayed, follow the directions. Blue cheese butter. One half cup of butter, one fourth cup of crumbled blue cheese. And the last one is one half cup of butter, four teaspoons of parsley, two and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, and a dash of white pepper. So a cream substitute. Two to three cups of non-fat dry milk, three fourths cups of water, one teaspoon of vinegar. Combine well, beat well, may be used for any recipe calling for sour cream. Second one is one cup of yogurt plain, one half cup of whole milk, one half cup of cream. Mix well and put in a mason jar. Allow to set on counter for up to 48 hours or until desired thickness. I would do the first one. The other one would just dry it cream, and that gets expensive. Okay. One last. We're not going to. We already did that one. Old Bay seasoning, but that'll be the end of it. Two tablespoons celery salt, two, tea, two tablespoons ground bay leaves, 
one tablespoon of dried mustard, two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, two teaspoons of ground ginger, two teaspoons of paprika, both sweet or, must or smoky, one teaspoon of allspice, one teaspoon of cloves, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of white pepper, one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, one half teaspoon of ground cardamom, one half, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of mace. Combine all ingredients, mix well, store in an airtight container, store in a cool, dry, dark pantry for up to six months. For number one, grind your own bay leaves very finely. Make extra, and for each bay leaf called for in recipes, substitute one-eighth to one-fourth teaspoon for each bay leaf called for. If, un if unable to find mace, substitute the same amount of nutmeg. That's it for today. God bless you.